guys, it's Kayla and Mark Allen. We like to travel a lot, especially to Disney World. Follow along on our journey as we give you tips and tricks to help you create your own ever after. Hello from Steakhouse 71 here at Disney's Contemporary Resort. We are dining here for lunch and we are giving you our review today. We have not eaten here before, but we have heard very, very good things. So I'm super excited. Um, we ordered some drinks. We ordered um, our app. We're getting ready to order some food, but our one of our appetizers just arrived. We got the potato brioche. Um, it looks beautiful. Like it's just very well plated um, so I'm very excited to try this Steakhouse 71 is considered a it is a table service restaurant I think it's considered a signature restaurant but it doesn't necessarily have a super high-end signature price tag so this is a really great option if you're looking for something a little more higher end but not necessarily that higher end price okay so like Kayla said we did get the brioche for an appetizer we may or may not get the bacon and eggs we'll see but the brioche is sea salt dusted potato brioche. It does come with some butter that they like stamped the logo on for the 71. There's little like sprigs of I think rosemary maybe um, on top and then it also comes with a garlic tomato spread um, which he says the garlic is at the bottom underneath that tomato so he says to really get down in there and get that garlic because that's he said the best part. All right here we go. Mm -hmm. It's very light and fluffy. The tomato sauce is kind of sweet. I like that. That's pretty good. Um, it's not super warm, but I think that's just because we took too long to eat it. <laughs> but it's pretty good. It's got some really, really nice flavor. Our cocktails just got here, and I got the Pear French 75 with Carvossier VS Cognac, Pear Nectar, Agave Syrup, Lemon Juice, and Prosecco. It looks really good. It sounded really good. I'm excited to try it. That's incredibly smooth. Like, incredibly, incredibly smooth. It's very sweet. It does not taste alcoholy. Um, it does have kind of more of that Prosecco taste, I would say. It kind of leans more heavily on like that and like the agave nectar. Like those are definitely the more prominent flavors. That's quite delicious. I love that. And then for my drink, I got the bourbon cold brew, which I love coffee. It has Maker's Mark, Joffrey's coffee cold brew, maple and vanilla bean cream, which I love it because it, you can kind of see all the different layers and everything going on. And it's like dusted with, I would assume maybe some cocoa powder or something on top. This is a great, like if you love coffee in a cocktail, this is really, really good. It's incredibly smooth, very creamy from that cream. Um, not super boozy. It actually, yesterday in Epcot, I got the Tipsy Ducks in Love. It tastes a lot like that, but much, much more creamier and less of obviously that tea because this doesn't have tea in it, but it, they're very, very similar cocktails, I will say. Okay, our second appetizer just got here. We got the bacon and eggs, which our waiter said is like the best thing on the menu. It's pork belly, and then there's an egg with some uh, cheesy grits. So I'm trying the egg and grits part first, and Mark Allen will try the pork belly here in a sec. Mm. Wow. Wow. That is so creamy like ridiculously creamy like the best grits you've ever had yeah it's 100% the best grits I've ever had oh gosh okay 
I see you, Steakhouse 71. <laughs> the sauce that they uh, pour over the top of it is kind of like a little bit sweeter too. And it, it, I'm sure it'll taste really good with the pork belly, but it tastes really good with the grits and egg as well. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. <laughs> The, those are the most creamy grits. I don't like grits. Right? But they're so good. They have such an impeccable flavor too. Like I can't even, but the, the, creamy, the creaminess, holy cow. It just cuts <laughs> like butter. Oh, look how tender that is. The sauce goes really, really well with that pork belly, the bacon. It, it just gives it a nice sweetness. There's a kind of a nice like char on that skin, but it's so tender, so juicy. Mm. There's a, it's just such a good, good flavor to it. Okay, what do you think about our appetizers? They were delicious. Which one was your favorite? The grits. I think the grits I liked the best. The bread, Ring Island's like obsessed over the bread. The bread was good. The bread's not like the best bread I've ever had. But it was good. But the grits were definitely amazing, for sure. I really liked the the bread service. The garlic, yeah, was the best part of that. But make sure you have to like really, really mix up that tomato and get that garlic out because that is by far the best part. The salt goes really, really well. It's not like overpowering, overpowering with the salt either. Um, as far as my cocktail, the more I drink this, it honestly tastes like if tiramisu had, and I'm probably butchering how I pro actually pronounce that, but it tastes like that in a drink because it is like the cocoa on top. So the more you get down into it, you get more of that cocoa. And so it kind of brings out like a little bit of that bitterness that you typically get with the cocoa. Yeah, I really like it. And again, much like Kayla's drink, it's a nice lunchtime drink too. course has just arrived so we got the burger with a wedge salad and we also got the gourmet grilled cheese with some of the parmesan fries i'm really excited about this wedge salad it looks super 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 good it has um blue cheese dressing on it i'm gonna make a mess that dressing is top notch. You really do need to like blue cheese. I love blue cheese, so this is a great. I'm like spitting. I'm like salivating right now. <laughs> that dressing is fantastic. You really do need to like blue cheese because that flavor is pretty strong, but. It tastes very, very fresh. I approve. I really, really like that a lot. All right, and now for the burger. I have pickles on my side. I do not have pickles on Mark Allen's side. I think they're sweet pickles though. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. That is a very good burger. Very juicy, really full of flavor. Like there's a ton of flavor in that. I like that they have the onions and pickles on it. Um, of course, I'm sure they can customize it if there's some of those things that you don't like. Yeah, that is very, very delicious. Okay, so I'm gonna give this grilled cheese a try here. That's really good. What all is on this again, do you remember? So the gourmet grilled cheese has, it's on toasted brioche, gruyere cheese, smoked gouda, shredded pork belly, caramelized onion jam, and arugula. All those flavors work so well together. The, the cheese is really good, the pork, yeah, honestly, everything's really good. The only thing I can't really taste is that onion jam, and maybe I'm just not like enough into the sandwich yet, but I'll let you know my final thoughts after we finish. That 
that was a delicious meal. It was seriously such a great lunch option. Yeah, I will say, I don't think that it's like one of the best restaurants that I've ever been to. Like it's definitely not top five, but I do think that it is an excellent option to get out of the parks for a few I hours. I 100% agree with that. Like I told Kayla, I think it's a great lunch option to get out of the park, get a nice little break, especially like on a really, really hot day. Yeah. Um, the AC was really, really good inside. It gets you away from a lot of the hustle and bustle mm -hmm. of the parks, gets you kind of secluded a little bit away yeah. from people. So honestly, a great, great lunch option if you're at Magic Kingdom. And the price was excellent. I think um, without our annual pass discount, I think it was probably just over $100, yeah. um, which is not bad at all for yeah. signature dining. Especially because we did get two appetizers, two entrees, and two drinks. Yes. We did get a lot of food, and we're, we obviously did not eat all of that. We're taking a lot yeah. of that with us. I mean, it was cheaper, I think, than our Ohana meal last night. So, it was. It yeah. was. Yeah. Um, but that about does it for us here at Steakhouse 71. Make sure you're subscribed so you can follow along on the rest of our adventures from this awesome trip. Right. And let us know if you've eaten at Steakhouse 71, what meal you ate here, whether it was breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and what your favorite thing was on the menu. That's all we have for you guys today. Now, now go, go create, create your, your ever, ever after. after. Do I have stuff on my mustache? <laughs>